This is Carla Pendleton again with episode four of Painting One Fire Tulips. Uh, it's a technique that uh, you've probably watched before, but can be applied to many different flowers. In this case, I am trying to match, or closely match, um, a piece that I've been painting, a uh, five-piece place setting for one of my granddaughters. And uh, I did make a few changes off camera to kind of c bring it into closer compliance with uh, the piece that I'm painting from. Uh, you'll notice that I've moved this yellow, ro uh, yellow tulip up quite a bit. I've rearranged a little bit of this uh, leaf back here and brought it a little bit further forward. Um, I think that's really the major um, things that I've done, and mostly I'm just trying to uh, get a little bit closer match uh, with the piece that I'm, I'm looking at. Um, <clears throat> now we finished uh, the background. I consider the major leaves finished up, and I want to start detailing these um, tulips. So I'm going to clean my brush in the Duratine brush cleaner. It's hypoallergenic uh, turpentine substitute. So I really like it because it conditions my brush as it cleans my brush. So I don't have to pack it away in medium, which is considerably more expensive. Alright, so we're getting all the green out of that brush and we're going to pick up now a little bit of medium on it since I've, I've squeezed out all of the remaining um, duratine out of my brush. You don't want to get that brush cleaner anywhere near these these um, tulips. And <clears throat> I've, well, I've oiled it very well in the Art Aid medium. I'm going to lightly blot it against the lip of the dish because I'm going to want to use a little bit drier brush now. We're going to start working, and I'm going to start with this half inch brush. We'll start working and detailing this yellow tulip here. And I'm using the corn mostly, although, um, you know, on second thought, I think I will pick up the lemon yellow because I want a lighter shade here as we begin to develop the details on this tulip. So I'm pulling in, just kind of pulling together some of those uh, fingerprints that I've left behind uh, from my finger painting earlier in episode one. I'm just kind of bringing those together using a very light touch, just blending some of that out. And I am using the lightly loaded um, lemon yellow in my brush not the corn that I initially started to pick up. And so we're painting from back to front. This is going to be one of the back petals. And sometimes I like to show this as a little bit of a turn back back here. And I notice I've done that on uh, the piece that I'm painting from. So I'm going to repeat that. Show just a little bit of a turn back on that very back tulip petal like that and then I will pull it down a little further this direction and pull it in towards the center. Every once in a while I'll come over here when I've developed I think too much paint on my brush and I'm not getting the highlight I want I'll come over and just just wipe it against the lip of the of this paper towel here. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to detail a little bit more of this back petal. Again, I have a lightly loaded brush, and I'm just pulling in casually and very lightly. Let's also detail a little bit more on this one back here. Just a few highlights. You can tell that this this is how these these grow. Is when you start doing the highlights, not going to bring in a little bit more of the darker yellow. That's the corn that's on my palette. Because I want to see a little bit more shadow right here where this petal's going in behind. And this is the turn back. So I'm going to load, now I'm going to pick up a different, I'm going to pick up a slightly smaller brush. This is a 3 8 inch brush that I'm using and a light blot. Pick up some of the lighter lemon yellow and pull 
always pulling those brush strokes back toward the base of the tulip. Okay, I think I would like to see just a little bit more color removed here. And then we'll pull some color down this way for this side. And I'm going to just sketch in the front petal here. And I'm going to go right about there. Again, a light load of the lemon yellow. Pulling those strokes, those highlighting strokes, softening strokes, pulling always towards the base of that tulip. And I think I want a little more color taken out of there. So I'm going to pull out some more highlight along that petal edge and then just bring a softening stroke down. And I'm always wiping, that's what you see this quick uh, when I take my hand away from the camera. I'm wiping the edge of that brush on my paper towel because I'm taking paint off and I don't want the brush to become clogged with paint. I'm going to need to see a little, stop throwing the, the carving tool. I want to see a little more highlight there. Just come in and soften and blend it down a little bit. And I think I will also want to see, now I'm dipping into the corn again, my darker yellow, because I want to show a little bit more of a turn back right in here where that is opening up that petal. And I'm just removing a little bit of that paint. I think I want this petal to come across the top. And why do I think that? Because that's what I did in the other <laughs> design that I'm looking at. And so I'm kind of trying to make them at least resemble each other. Uh, they're not going to match because I don't do matching that well. Uh, it's not one of my fortes to copy even my own work. I'm not very good at it. So I try to paint to my strengths and not my weaknesses. And here we go. I think we're about done with that. I would like to see just a little bit more of a different petal shape right there. Picking up the lighter shade now again and pulling that direction. Here we go. We get a little bit of that little touch of that background color into that tulip. And I think that we will call this uh, the end of part one. Uh, we'll just finish, well, no, let me go ahead and put in, I keep saying that, but let me go ahead and put in the stem here. And I think I'm going to use a slightly larger brush for that stem. I'm using a very small quill. It's not a liner, but it's not very big. I'd say an eighth of an inch at best. And I'm gonna pick up the old gold green And right at the base of that tulip, I'm going to pull the stem right down like that. Just let it go right behind that leaf. And right through that background color. Now I'm going to put a little shading on one side, so I'm picking up some of the old gold green and I'm going to put a not old gold green this is the black green sorry misspoke there and I'm going to put a little shading on this side and finally on this I'll clean the brush pick up a little bit of medium wipe against the lip of the dish and I'm going to pick up a combination of uh, you know I just a little touch of the chartreuse in the white enamel mixed together and that's what I'm going to use to highlight so this is a mixture of chartreuse and a little bit of white enamel 
And that's what I'll use to highlight. Oops, got a hair, stray hair. I could see it dragging paint the wrong way. And let's get a little bit better load of that enamel, the uh, pale colored enamel, which is a combination of chartreuse mixed with a whole lot of enamel. Because remember, the enamel will darken as it fires. So I want to get that nice highlight in there, but I don't want to lose all my shadows. Uh, I might be tempted to con continue this down here, and that would be fine. I just know there's going to be a leaf there uh, towards the end of the design, but you know, go ahead and I can go ahead and put it in just in case some of it may show. And that'll be the end of that. And thank you again for watching. Um, be sure to make note that uh, you can reach me anytime at 970-799-1788. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me. If you need supplies, all of the materials that I'll be using in these episodes are things that I keep in stock normally. So uh, please don't hesitate to call for supplies or for uh, any kind of um, instruction that you might need or questions that you might have. Thanks again for watching. God bless your day. Bye now.